Hey YouTubers, thanks for watching. I have two things to let you guys know about. I recently shot at a uh, GSSF match and I had a great time, a good organization down at Shore Shot in Lakewood, New Jersey. I had a great time and I was shooting with this gun here. This is my Glock 17, uh, which is a full size 9mm gun. This is the Gen 4, but it was one of the first productions of that of that gun. It's already been safety checked. And I'll let you guys know of a problem that was with these guns. A little thing. Now let's we'll zoom on it here. Um, one of the problems with this gun was with the capture spring. And in my match, when I shot there, I was having lots of failure to feeds in the 9mm. I understand this doesn't happen in the 40 uh, version of this, but in the 9 it does. And with that, This, this spring is supposed to have an identifier right on the end of it there that would tell you that this is a one. It would be either, a, I think it's one or two. But anyway, I called them up and explained to the guys at Glock, especially since being at the match, there were lots of Glock people there. Now, this is the paperwork I got sent. It's folded over to cover up my address, but you guys can see. The Glock took care of the problem, right? White free of charge, by the way. And sent over a replacement spring. And this is my first. I've already opened up the package, but I haven't opened up this yet. Yep, as you can see, this has some different identifiers on there. And this is supposed to be actually be a lighter spring than this old one here. And I wonder if I could tell. You can see how scientific this is. Eh, a little bit better, but I am glad for the new spring. And we'll get a chance to see how this thing works. And there we go. The new spring for my Glock 17. That's it. Now, there's two other things I want to let you guys know. Uh, a friend of mine, Staten Island Prepper, is opening up his channel. Right now, I think he's got five or six, I think five videos I just looked. And I wanted to let you guys go check out his channel. And uh, I also want to let you, another thing, too, that uh, Wrangler Star, uh, he hurt my feelings a little bit. Um, he, I always watch his videos. He's doing a homesteading project. And uh, he basically was saying how all the, all the YouTubers out there with the look what I got new and like, unboxing stuff and that's what some of my videos are just trying to show you guys uh, what I've got what I think of it and uh, we want to contribute to uh, you know this little you know I guess what we're calling it our uh, prepping survival and, and gun community and uh, I also enjoyed ATVs and 4 x 4s I need to put some of those videos up so uh, you know please check out Wrangler Star 2 and uh, send a little note, you know, saying that we're just trying to contribute it like him. And he has great videos that I keep, I intend on watching him still. Uh, that's it. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. Um, two things I also wanted to make sure I mentioned. Uh, when I was at the GFS match there, they quite often will randomly give away a gun. I won. I'm thrilled to death. So I actually won a gun, and I'm in the process of doing that paperwork now. Uh, we'll see if it goes through. I've never won anything like that. Uh, winning a gun in the state of New Jersey might also be its own problem. Um, some of you people may uh, live in areas like that too. And uh, I also, when I joined the organization, you get a good discount off of guns. And when I did, I kind of ran out and got myself a uh, 17C, which is a compensated gun. So please keep your eyes out for that video probably coming out in about another week. Um, we put something together with that, hopefully with some shooting, but... I can't promise that. It's hard to get video of my range. And in New Jersey, there's not one open square spot to do it. Thank you, guys.